never paid any heed to the ancient prophecies. Like fools, we clung to the old hatreds. And fought as we had for generations. And now, upon the brink of destruction, for the reign of chaos has come at last. Welcome, folks. Welcome to another Let's Play. I'm Black Templar, and welcome to Warcraft 3 Reforged. Now, this game and I have quite a history. You see, back in the early 2000s, when I was a wee nipper, I have used to play a lot of RTSs, and this was one of my favorites. In fact, Warcraft was one of the first RTSs I played. Then I played into Command and Conquer and Dawn of War, right about that same year, because I loved the RTS scene and genre. When I heard this was getting remade, I was kind of happy. Now, I have heard about Reforge's uh, problems, shall we say, but I'm hoping for a good game. Now, let's get to it, shall we? Now, as you all know, there is a lot of campaigns we'll have to go through. You know, the all Warcraft 3 before, you know, World of Warcraft even became a thing. However, we will start off with the prologue campaign, which is Exodus of the Horde. Now, before we go any further, actually, I best check to make sure that the, um, the system is all set up and everything. Like sound and all that. Um, sound, here we go. Yep. Yep, move the sound a little bit. So I can, you know, so you guys can hear us, because I did a test run a while ago, and unfortunately, two things happened. One, I forgot to sort out a certain save, you know, function, because I didn't realize, you know, the way the, the game was set up, so I made a little mistake on my part, and also, I kind of, you know, had a foul corruption, so, there we go. Anyhow, we'll look at the cinematic first for Old Vision, because like I said, I played this earlier during a test run, and I made a right hash of it, so, yep. We'll start with for Old Vision, and then we'll get on with the main story lock, so, let's get on with it, but I'll give you a piece of heads up I might split this prologue into two or I might just do a one full video we'll see how it goes anyway let's look at Froll's vision <clears throat> the sands of time have run out son of Duratan of war echo upon the winds. The remnants of the past scar the land. Which is besieged once again by conflict. 
conflict. arise to challenge fate and lead their brethren to battle. As mortal armies rush blindly towards their doom, the burning shadow comes to consume us all. Must rally the Horde and lead your people to their destiny. Seek me out. Well, I won't say that was a good vision or dream for you there, was it, Frog? But yeah, that's the cinematic. Now normally this would go on to the actual game, but like I said, I played it earlier in a test run. Now, like I said, this will be a tutorial, so I won't be talking much. I'll be doing that mostly when we get to, you know, the actual campaign. But anyhow, well actually when we get to chapter 3 I would say, because the first two chapters are really more about the narration, and we best let him have his say before he gets whingy about it. But anyway, let's get on with Chasing Visions. Right, so we're off to the first one where Fro wakes up to a bad dream. I'm not surprised considering someone's been in your head. What kind of nightmare was that? A bad one. It was not a nightmare, young war chief, but a vision. Follow me, and I will reveal what your future holds. I don't know what this is all about, but I'll play along. I gotta admit, I like the new model's work. Pretty good. Right, anyhow. No regard, no I'll wait till this guy speaks, because you know he's gonna speak in the next five seconds. Excellent. You seem eager to be on your way. However, you must first learn how to give orders to Thrall. Try ordering Thrall to move down the path towards the nearby banner. To do this, click the Move button in the bottom right corner of your screen and then click on the banner. Yeah, so you'll be getting a lot of this, you know, the narrator's going to be speaking a lot, so that's why I'm going to be a little more quieter for this part at least. But, um, yeah, I do like the new models. I mean, they do look nice, look more rendered and up to date, because the old ones were pretty flat, but let's see if they keep the, um, the old voices. Oh, you know. Ah. Oh. Well, I think they do, guys. But I think it's the game just being a bit funny bug with me. Let's have a look. Skillfully done. However, the orc encampment is still far off. In order to reach the next banner, very good. The path to the next banner leads through a black area. Notice how the black area shrinks as Thrall moves through it. This reflects areas you have explored. Yep. Lotar, my warriors. We are yours to command, war chief. All right. In Let's order see. to have Thrall and his troops move together, you must first select all of them. Let's get through this. Let's quickly. get on with now it. Now that your troops are all selected, 
order them to move to the next banner. Prepare yourselves. I sense a knoll ahead. To order Thrall's forces to defeat this foul creature, select all of your troops, click on the attack button, and then click on the knoll. Okay. I am the war chief. Ah, good. It's on. Oh, it must have been a little bug. So let's see if they keep their old voices. Logrigar, Nogal. My people are strong. Oh, they have. Good. So there might be some funny like dialogue, guys. I'll, I'll do that for every person so you can have a listen. But this was one of the most charming features of, of Warcraft 3. It was you could hear these like funny dialogues they put in. I will lead them to their destiny. The spirits will guide me. Uh huh. I may have been raised by humans, but I'm no fool. Which is true, Thrall was, and I'll explain that a little bit. And I'll explain that a little later. The spirits are restless. Okay, so let's hear the normal orc. Master. Yes. What you want? Why are you poking me again? You know, I gotta say this thing about the orcs, like the general orcs. They were like flat, but they were like all over the place. Like they were like, schizophrenic at times. So I do like this. Why don't you lead an army instead of touching me? Poke, poke, poke. Is that all you do? Ooh, that was kind of nice. Okay, that's a bit, um, worrying. Me so horned, me hurt you long time. Okay, now I'm definitely worried. Me no sound like Yoda. Do I? Uh, yeah. It not easy being Let's lead. get on with it. <laughs> I love that, guys. At least they've kept the charm of it, you know what I mean? They've kept its charm, which I like. Mm, okay. This was only a scout, but the Knoll's camp lies just ahead. Yep. Order your troops to perform an aggressive in. attack move into the enemy encampment. To do this, select all of your troops, click the attack button, and then left click on the ground in the middle of the Knoll camp. For honor. Yep, just have a little vision. I am the war chief. Mm -hmm. There we go. Chain lightning. Hmm. Huh? Nah, the could spirits be a dick, are but restless. Yeah, I'm gonna wreck a house or two. Yes. Nothing there. For honor. Oh well, let's get moving. Dabu. All right. Hmm. War Chief, we've discovered a group of Murloc Raiders in the nearby river. The Murlocs would make excellent targets for your new Chain Lightning spell. To have Thrall use his new ability, yep. click on the Chain Lightning button and then left click on one of the Murlocs. Already done that. Some monsters drop treasure when they are defeated. Treasure this chest. particular treasure chest contained a useful potion of mana. Notice that the potion now occupies one of Thrall's inventory slots near the bottom middle of your screen. Mm -hmm. Potions of mana can be used to replenish a hero's mana, the magic energies that allow the casting of spells such as Chain Lightning. Yep. So basically guys, what he's telling us is we could use stuff. Now, there's something you should know about the inventory area. Now, unlike what you get now in, you know, World of Warcraft, the game, in this game you have a limit of six slots. If they fill up, you can't add any more. So, do keep in mind that when you are like, you know, looking for treasure, don't hoard it all. Just get what you need and then go with it. Because if you hoard too much, you might miss some good treasure. So, keep that in mind. The wolf oh. howl signifies that night has begun. Be wary, my warriors. Don't let nightfall dull your senses. Also, I like the fact as well they've um. They've added that feature, the, the night thing, and they really, Let's get on with they it. really put a lot of effort into it, but I still say they made they could do with some more improvements, but hmm. we'll get to that later. But anyhow, let's get the heck out of here. We've got a lot of work to do. An ogre. We'd have a fierce battle on our hands if the beast weren't sleeping. Yeah, but I think it's best we don't attack it and we get straight to business. I mean, we have a horde to prepare. 
So let's get moving. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Besides, we have a dinner date with a prophet, I would say. Find the prophet. Done. Greeting, son of Duratan. I knew you'd find your way. It was you I saw in the vision. Who are you? How do you know me? I know many things, young warchief, about you and your people. My identity at this time is unimportant. What is important is that you rally your people and leave these shores immediately. Leave? What's this all about, human? Human? <laughs> I left my humanity behind long ago. I am something different now. Know that I have seen the future and beheld the great burning shadow that is coming to consume this world. You sense it as well, don't you? The demons are returning. Yes, and only by leading your people across the sea to the distant lands of Kalimdor will you have a chance to stand against them. But how can we... I will answer all of your questions in time, young war chief. For now, rally your warriors and prepare to leave this land. We will speak again. Indeed we shall, Prophet. None of this makes sense. But the spirits tell me that I should trust him. Yes, you should, Thrall. He's trying to help you. And that's the end of the first chapter. Now, I do like this part here where they tell you how you did and all that. So I do like that a bit. That's a, a nice little touch. And also makes, you know, editing videos easier, I would say. But anyhow, let's continue on, shall we? <coughs> right. Departures. Three days later, near Lordaeron's coast. Come on. There we go. It's been three days, and this prophet has yet to show himself. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting him. War Chief, the clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, War Chief. Warrior, has there been any word from Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. No, Warchief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. Damn it, Hellscream. Where the hell are you? Okay, that was a change. Because in the original, he would say, Damn it, Grom. Where are you? So... The blinking button at the top oh. of the screen Where indicates you that your quest journal has been updated. To find out more about your objectives, yep. click on the quest button. The spirits are restless. For honor. Right, you get there, cause we're gonna need you there a little bit later. Once a peon has been ordered to harvest gold, you will automatically travel back and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Mm -hmm. Here are a few additional peons. To increase the rate of gold collection, order them to harvest from the same we need gold more mine. Gold. Work, work. Turn fifty gold, huh? Yes. The amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed in the upper right portion of your screen. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold stockpile increases. Yep. So while we're waiting on that, let's um, have a listen to what the peons got to say. Now that your gold income is steady, <clears throat> you will want to produce additional peons to construct the rest of your base. To train a peon, first select your great hall. Yes, yes. There is now a train. Training a unit takes time. When your great hall is selected, you can see a progress indicator in the bottom middle portion of your screen. Yep. Right. Let's um. Let me do this thing now. Something need doing. Thank you. Hmm. Ready to work. Something need doing. In order to support a larger population, additional orc burrows will have to be constructed. Burrows provide the food that allows you to train more troops. To construct a burrow, select one of your peons. 
Yeah, yeah. Now click on the build structure button in the command card. Uh, we'll do the peel thing after we've done this, guys. Notice that additional buttons are now available in the command card. To construct an orc burrow, click on the build orc burrow. What let's, do you want? Let me let's do this so that way you can so we can get them in out order of the way. to produce additional buildings, you must gather more lumber from the nearby forests. To harvest lumber, select a peon and right-click on a nearby tree. To increase the rate of which you collect lumber, train additional peons and assign them to harvest from the forest. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about this, guys, but you know the rate. He's gonna keep on like bugging and all that. As I'm saying, the first two on, I'm not gonna be too much talking because of the fact Ready that we will just jump in and all that. Yes. Now that your peon has been assigned to gather lumber, he will automatically travel back and forth between the forest and your closest great hall. Ready to work. Something need doing? Yep. I can do that. Work complete. Right. Hmm? Just gotta get through all this, guy, so... Okie dokie. Right. There we go. So while they're making that, I will show you the peon thing once you know they get through all this crap. Because there are some things I need to, need to talk about and all that about the war. Work complete. Warcraft lore, but we'll get to that once we get past the whole this whole tutorial bit. Because this does tend. War to mills contain various upgrades that can be researched to improve your troops. To see what upgrades are available, select your war mill. See what I mean? So yeah, when when this is over, guys, when, he's, when we've done all the talking, we'll get to doing that. All available upgrades appear as buttons in the War Mills command card. To research an upgrade, left-click on the one you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have to go through this. So hopefully it won't be too long. Work complete. Right, set a rally point here. Now that your barracks is complete, you can begin training grunts to reinforce your army. We need more. You gold. have just placed a rally point for your structure. Whenever a unit finishes training from this building, he will automatically travel to the rally point's location. To place a rally point, select one of your unit producing structures and right click on the ground where you want the rally point to appear. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now that we've got some chance, we can actually listen to this guy and what he has to say for himself. Continue producing grunts until you reach your quest requirement. Oh, my will, life you, will you be quiet, the reader? Complete. What do you want? Thank you. Yes. Something need doing? What? Be busy. Leave me alone. <laughs> no time for play. Me not that kind of orc. I think he's been worried about something that poor orc. My life mm -hmm. for the horde. What do you want? Right, that's it. Okay. So yeah. Like I said, probably work, at the work. next chapter when like there's no like narrator, I'll get to more detail about Thrall and his back a little bit of his backstory. Because some people might not know his backstory, but I know a bit of it. So once we get through this, which shouldn't be too long, we'll get through it. But I do like the My new model, like horde. icons and things. I mean, even the buildings look pretty good. Right. Gets a better shield, so my warriors are a little bit tougher. What do you want? Uh, you stay He's there. Happy to. Cause I'm gonna need you to do something a little later. Yep. My life for the horde. Also, with burrows, you can call your peons to go in there and like fire spears at people if your camp gets attacked. It's a very handy trick if you're in a sit like a tight pinch. But there is a, like a requirement with with the orcs at least. Whenever you get a war mill, there is a like a skill you really need to get straight away. Same in this, the the, the great hall. It's a great skill I suggest you get, but we'll get to that in, you know, chapter 3.
My life for the Lord. There you go. Research complete. Humans. You orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. War Chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Hellscream. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Lok Tarogar! Come, my warriors! We must drive the humans back! Alright. Let's fight. And guess what? I'm already there. Let's get on with it. Dabu. Yes. Something you're doing? Ah, I'll walk on his way. Master? Time for killing. The wretched humans have been destroyed. Move Thrall and the rest of your forces across the bridge, such as the one located here. Yeah, yeah. For Doom Hammer! Time to rescue what Grimosh Hellscream. Time now, to die. If you wonder who Grimosh Hellscream is, guys, he is Garrosh's father. That's right. We're saving Garrosh's dear daddy. Yes. And in my view, one of the best badass characters. Right. Time to die. Now, Master. Before we go any further, I best explain Let's get on what the it. humans meant by the Interment Act. Now, during after the Second um, Warcraft War between the Orcs and the humans, the Orcs lost badly. After their loss, they were forced to sign a treaty called the Interment Act. Now, not all Orcs agreed to it. Let's be fair, not all Orcs agreed to this. Basically, the whole Interment Act means the Orcs can never gather together into a big clan. So basically, they can still be clans, but they have to be separate, like far apart, small settlements, so the humans can regulate them. So basically, when they were like gathering there, they got a little worried and they were thinking it was going to be another big rebellion. But no, that wasn't going to happen Riga, because no they're trying to leave. And to be honest, the humans should just let them leave. If they want to leave the uh, leave Lordaeron, let them leave Lordaeron. For honor. Now, for those who are unaware, this is following Lordaeron, not Stormwind, so... Yes. So, be happy with that. I mean, Stormwind is far, far away, but Stormwind was the setting of one of the games. I think it was number one it was set in. Hmm. None will survive. The spirits are right, restless. While you're busy doing that, they'll get rid of this. Yes. Yeah, so that was the that whole thing to do with the Turban Act. It was basically to keep the old population down. I am the war chief. But there was more to it than that. I mean there's a lot of extended lore which you can find in the books and all that, but I'll give you the bomb Dabu. basement lore, basically. <clears throat> Is there one, For of our, honor. one of our men? The spirits are restless. Yeah. Dabu. Yep. My life for the horde. Hey, buddy. What you want? Lokrigar, Nogal. Let's go and rescue some more. Hmm. You're on your own? You're gonna die. For the yes. Lord. Ah, oh, shaman. Direct me. Now I'm waiting to see if, if he's gonna speak the narrator, cause I do like that as well, the checkpoint thing. That's kinda cool. Yes, war chief. How can I help? Ooh, thunder striking. You ever get hit by lightning or the sun don't shine? Uh, no, and I don't want to. Back off, pup. The sky is falling. Raindrops keep falling on my head. <laughs> no time for play. We have war to fight. 
Electrifying. <laughs> I think that's a reference to the rock. Blame it on the rain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I remember the old um, shaman model was just like, the wolf head was literally right on top of him and you only saw was his teeth. Like his beard and his teeth. That was the only part of the orc you ever saw. I am the war chief. When you control multiple spellcasters at the same time, it often becomes necessary to quickly switch between them to cast their individual spells. By using the subgroup interface, you can do so without having to try to select them individually. Notice that the currently selected units are displayed in the bottom middle portion of your screen by little portraits. One of the unit portraits is highlighted with a yellow glow. This means that it is the currently activated subgroup. You can switch between subgroups by pressing the tab key or left clicking on one of the portraits that is not highlighted. This yeah, activates yeah. that subgroup and displays their spells in your command card. Let's get on with it. Right, time to get Grom out. For honor. Oh, knight. Look, Naros. Yep, it's a knight. War chief. We've found where they're holding Hellscream, but the area is protected by fortified guard towers. Then destroy them. Hellscream must be freed. Oh yeah, we'll free him. Don't worry. Your time has come. None will survive. Under attack. Hmm. Look, Naruk. For Doom Hammer. Right, well, they're going to give it that. What you want? Why he got murdered? Time for killing. All done. Now, time to rescue Grimash. Hell scream. Are you all right? I'm fine, little brother. Luckily, they wow, only injured changed. my pride. Great, because we're getting out of here now. We're leaving the human lands for good. Finally, follow me. I have an idea. <laughs> we can set sail on the humans' own ships. <laughs> Perfect. But we'll need to wait for the rest of the horde. Here they are. The horde is assembled, war chief. We await only your command. And it's time to leave Lordaeron. Now, go, young thrall. Sail west to the lands of Kalimdor. It is there that you will find your destiny. It is there that your people's salvation will be assured. I hope you're right about that. And that's the end of chapter two. So yeah. I gotta say, guys, Grom Helm Scream, or it's Gromash, but I call him Grom for short. He looks different because in the original, he didn't look that old. He looked a bit like a bit of a badass, like like Lobo, basically. And his eyes were like glowing red, so they, they glue, they glow that with like red radiance. But those eyes just look orange. I'm not too happy with the design, but but hey, that's progress for you. Anyhow, let's move on to chapter three.